one little tip when coming down to the river on these big rocks these rocks are very unforgiving once they get wet especially if you're wearing sneakers you're done you're going down believe me we've been down so many times I don't have enough fingers terrible can, can really be treacherous and be careful of the loose gravel here that will send you down uh, when, when you get into the fine powder but anyway let's get some scapping done let me show you how come on first thing you want to do is you want to get some water in the bucket this way when you get some herring uh, in the net you can take them here and throw them in here you can probably fit about five in here depending upon how long uh, you're gonna you know how long it takes to get some herring uh, if you take too long they will die in this water they breathe in that their oxygen enough so fast they're very very uh, sensitive fish they die easily so let's get some water in here okay some of that fine clean Hudson River. Okay, we're gonna put that in a steady place, like so. Then we're gonna take our net. Okay, you wanna keep your dipping net, that's what this is called. You wanna take your dipping net, which I never fixed, uh, and you wanna keep that close. Okay, we got our stoolie on here. Okay, and now time to scat. So we're gonna put this between our legs. We are going to lower this like that in the water and have at them. Keep it nice and low. Nice steady pace. So follow that rubber slowly in. You got a little swivel on there so it moves around comfortably. Muffin this time. Well, my line snapped. I lost my stoolie. Let's go get another one. All right, so here's your rubber stoolie. Here is your hook with a weight on the end. Got the eye on there and the little hooks here. So what we're gonna do, I am going to bend this back, this hook, okay, about like that. And then I am going to send this right down the middle, right here, okay, down the middle. Okay, be careful you don't come through the other side and get your hand. I have done that. It feels great. Pass that area like that. Get that pushed all the way. See how that poked through the, set, the top there in the center? Had a slight curve to it. Push this in a little more so you're all the way up against it. And now, we are going to take this and bend it back like that. See? Now, some people like that hook being out there. I don't. So I'm gonna hook that all the way down back into itself. Like that. Okay? It's gonna give me a nice strong hold. And we're ready to go.
Mexico. So now that we have a schoolie on the line here, and if you look here at my rod, if you see it bouncing there, that's one of the fish on the line. And that's a great sign because it could be striper chasing a school or a school going by. Uh, now it's just a matter of patience. But in the meantime, maybe, just maybe, all right, if we pray about it, we can get an interview with one of the top fishermen here on the banks of the Hudson River. This guy is probably one of the finest and he's very shy. He doesn't like to do interviews. So maybe I can go down there and convince him. Let's see what we can do while we're all waiting for some fish. Come with me. Okay, so every, I wanna say 100 miles, all right, on shore, you always find that one guru, well-experienced fisherman who teaches everybody how to fish anything at all. But today, I want to introduce you to Silburn, who has taught me and many people on the banks here how to catch striper. Because this guy, he usually throws a, a line in the water and bam. I could be going all day long, maybe two or three days looking for herring. He'll show up and say, what's the matter? Would you, would you forget your skills? And he'll take my rod in like two seconds. There you go, and they got herring. This is Silver. Silver, how long have you uh, been fishing here in this area? Uh, 31 years. 31 years. Yep. And uh, you've been balancing on all these rocks? Yep. For 31 years? 31 years. So you probably can walk all this blindfolded? Yep, night by day. Is there anything that you can tell the people, the viewers out there, uh, any, not your secrets, but any pointers they can they can use in catching striper here on, on shore fishing? Our first point is fish where the fish is. Number two, be patient. If you're patient, you will catch fish. You don't have enough patience. So now, if you're fishing without patience, you shouldn't be fishing at all, because that's what fishing's all about. Otherwise, it'd be called catching, right? Now, one thing that I wanted to mention is that I used to hook the fish in the mouth or on the tail, but this gentleman here taught me where to hook it. Tell him where to hook it. It's a secret. <laughs> We are not giving that away. <laughs> Thanks, so much. It's a secret. It's a secret, and I can't give that away. I don't give that to all the pointers. If you come across me anyway, if you come by the bank here, you're looking for silver, you'll find this guy in a red shirt. Bang, bang. Yeah, come down here by the Hudson. Check me out, and I'll give you some pointers. You will catch fish. And the real truth of that is none of us want you down here by the bank in this area fishing. <laughs> See you later. See you on the water, man. <laughs>